Hey everyone, this is Bika here. Welcome to In the Midnight Light. It's mid made by Hoshio. Hoshio, that's it. Anyway, let's go and go just dive right in. Hmm, seems like a nice game. It was on a rainy night like this when my memory seemed to begin. The good, the bad, I've got to pick up pieces someday. All right. Ooh, that's wow. The R the, the R style is got actually pretty cute. It's raining outside. I can't see to fall asleep. Are you serious? I hope Mr. Hunter doing okay downstairs. Actually, it's arrow key to move, shift key to run. Okay. Can save any time by pressing escape. Um, I can't do this. Time to hit downstairs. Wow, is it where is he sleepwalking? This guy. How? Alright. My toys, I don't feel like playing with them right now. What? Oh no, the shadows are lurking around. What are you doing, real? It's raining, you know. Bad things happen when it rains. Always happen when it rains. If you don't hurry, who knows what will happen? Press zero space to align your heartbeat. Okay. Looks like the shadows fading away. You picked up a memory fragment. That was a close call. I have to try to avoid the other ones downstairs. Heh. <laughs> um. This guy's having problems, huh? This is our shoe rack. Miss Ronda put a pot of plant on top of it. It says sprout up the house. I don't really get it. It's the front door. It's usually locked so that there's nothing bad can get in. Oh my god. This is this is one of those uh, psychological horror games, isn't it? Heh. <laughs> Avoid these shadows? Yeah, easy said than done. Mr. Hunter zooms over there on the far left corner. Just a bit closer now. Um. Yeah. Oh, if you go in there, he's not breathing. He's not breathing. What will you do then? Oh, no, come on. Looks like the shadow's fleeing away. Pick up memory frag. What? What? What are these memory fragments? Hold on, I'm gonna save just just because I can. Mr. Finally, Mr. Hunter's room. I hope he's okay. I think it's okay. He is breathing. That's good. Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Wait, that's it. Oh, they're gone. Now I can finally go to sleep. Pick up memory fragment. Pick up memory fragment. It's the battle. I don't need to go. Hmm. Back door. Okay. Wonder why. Anyways, I think we're doing a good job. Wow. Oh. Come on, go back upstairs, man. Is that dogs? Hmm? Ooh, it's a cat dog. It's a, it's a cat person thing. Get back to my room, quick! I, I'm trying to. I am really. I can't even get back to my room. That's it. Alright, you're dead. I think this guy. It's a. Uh, mental or something. He's having a mental disease or something. Wow. I can't see myself. I where 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 am I? 
Mr. Bear, he keeps me. Uh, how how? <laughs> are you guys seeing this? What I'm seeing? I'm. What are you ready to rest for the night? I guess. Hold on, let me. I think I I think I screwed the game up, but I'm gonna. Let's go sleep anyways. Do you remember? The first time Mr. Hunter made you favorite meal. Okay, real. Look what we made to dinner tonight. It's a hamburger steak and vegetables. I know we don't usually have the money for meat, but I thought I'd go all out today. After all, a growing boy needs his proteins, right? When you took a bite into the steak, you feel alive for the first time in a long time. You kept eating faster and faster. That Mr. Hunter had to stop you before you choke. Well, there. I knew you'd like it, but slow down, won't you? There's plenty of food on the table tonight, and I don't want to have you say this, but could you eat those vegetables too? I spent way too long preparing those, so I don't want them to go to waste. Hearing those words made you remember how much he cares about you, and how much time he spends for your sake. You make sure to eat your vegetable from then onwards. It sounds like a caretaker, like a like a father or something. Oh, you know, here I am. I'm I'm back to um. My normal self, night two. I woke up middle middle of the night. Now I can go back to sleep again. Guess I'm worried about Mr. Hunter too. He said he'd be home late night because of his job. I should go check if he's at home yet. For some reason, I think you should just stay in your room. Stop imagining those things. Yeah, here you go again. The shadows, they're, they're here tonight too. Better watch my step. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's the front door. Okay, the front door is not here yet. Now these guys are back. These guys are relentless. I mean, I have to. I think I have to like counter at least one of one of these guys, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look so I can rest easy. Yeah, he's not here. Huh? He is not. There. What, what do I do? Where is he? He's gotta be at home, right? He's gotta be. Why? Not here. Box emergency supply. Where is he? Closet. He's not here. Oh. Jesus, man. There's no escape. What do I do? What if he's not really not coming back? I don't know, eat a sandwich or something? Go back to sleep? He's in the bathroom, man. Real? What are you doing here? Hey, bud, what's the matter? Was it another nightmare? You look so pale. <gasps> Those eyes. You're asking when I get home? Well, oh, I came back hours ago, actually, though you were already fast asleep by then. Guess you haven't been sleeping well lately, huh? Oh, well, kiddo, whatever it was, it was you saw. You're safe here in this house. There's nothing that can hurt you, okay? Look, I'll tuck you in the bed and keep you company until you fall asleep. That way we can both get some shy around here. How's that sound? Good. That's the spirit. Come on, let's get going. Should you connect these memory fragments, whatever these things are? <laughs> I can still believe he's, he's he's in the restroom the whole entire the entire time. <sighs> I guess the the main character is kind of attached to um the hunter. I guess. Not that it's a bad thing, but he should, you know, maybe grow up later. All right, we're here. Yep. Hold on, let's talk to him first. Anytime now, bud. I'll be here as long as it takes for you to fall asleep. That sounds good. He sounds like a like. He sounds like a nice guy. Do you remember when you cry when s for s with someone for the first time? 
and found a photo of Mr. Hunter and your mom, happily standing together side by side. They look so young, almost about your age. We're small and inseparable back. I miss her so much. And I know you miss her just as much, don't you, Ru? You didn't get to spend much time with your mom, so you weren't sure what to say. If my sister, your mother, were still- Oh! Hunter is, is his uncle! That makes sense. Was, was still alive today, I would have- Oh. When you questioned what, hap what happened, what had happened to her, your uncle sat there silent. Lost in thought, tears started to form from both your eyes and from the thought alone. It's nothing to worry about, real. Just a bad memory now. Perhaps one day I'll be able to tell you. Well, kudos for the for the uncle taking taking the taking the kid in. Was that a wolf howling? Sounds really close by. Oh, don't go check. Did Mr. Hunter remember to lock the doors tonight? I have a bad feeling. I should go check on him in the house. This seems kind of redundant, Real. You should go to sleep. Stop waking up at night. Oh, not you again. I think I should face them straight on. Alright, okay. You're done now. She's coming for you. Run away where you still can. Huh. Wonder what are these things. You succumb to the darkness of your heart. <gasps> what? I only missed by a little bit. That's so strange. Oh, well, luckily we saved. Come over here, here, and here. Okay, remember, if he's not here, he's probably in the bathroom. Well, he's here. There he is. He's breathing normally. Why wouldn't he? Maybe I shouldn't have worried over a little sound. Oh no, not. N <laughs> I guess there really isn't anything to worry of, just like Mr. Hunter said. You know, now I'm getting kind of scared because there's something about to happen, right? Oh crap. Hello. Anybody home? <laughs> go back to sleep, real. If I stay really still, maybe they wouldn't notice me and go away. Real, honey, I know you're there. Open the door, please. <laughs> Guess I'll have to lock myself in then. Go, go back to Mr. Hunter. Tell him you're afraid. Oh! I, I, huh. I guess I wasn't given a chance. Let's go home, shall we? That's Mom's voice. Do you remember? How do you keep to into unconscious? Your first ever memory. I don't know. When you're a baby? Wait, I got it. A cemetery? I'm in the middle of the forest? That's not good. I've get back home somehow. That's the cemetery, right? I'm gonna assume this is the way back home. No, not you! No, escape! Game over! Oh. That's not good. I gotta be more careful this time around. I thought we safe. Because I made it out of there alive. No! Well, there's home! Go back home! It's a miracle, I'm almost home. No. Oh. Oh. Real. Where are you going, son? <laughs> Don't go back there. That 
Mr. Hunter is a bad man. He is trying to take you away from me. Stay here. That's what you wanted, right? To be with your dear mother. No. You're not my mom. I heard a gunshot. <gasps> Mr. Hunter, good timing. You just shot my imagination. At least that's what I think. Wait, what? You may have taken her voice, but you're not her. Real? Are you okay? Her anywhere? Let's get you back inside. Oh. It's kind of clear now. So that may be the wolf that ate her mother. Like a demon wolf or something. It makes sense, right? Oh god. This poor kid. So you're probably wondering what all of that was about. Well, any shadowy wolf, that shadowy wolf creature... Those are kind of wolves I'm hunting after. Part of my job, you see. In that particular wolf's worst case, she controls the whole area. The Witch of the Forest, as they call her. It's just that I have no idea I should be hunting after you. Guess I should have, though. I'm sorry. It's time to finally tell you about you and your mom. Okay. I'm all for stories. You're really tiny back then when I found you outside. In about the same forest here you come out just now. There was this terrible storm as I was trying to uh, sleep through in the middle of the night. Well, but you cry even louder out there. I just had to see what was going on. Even if, if I get soaked, that's when I found her. Your mother. My little sister, who I haven't seen her forever. We've... We fought before she ran away and the next thing I knew, I see her lifeless body on the ground. I have a feeling she was trying to run away from those darn wolves and maybe trying to see me again. You know, I really wish I could have saved her too, but the least I could do back then was to save you, her only child. Yep. Even now, you're the most precious thing in my life. And that's why I was thinking, maybe it's best you live somewhere else after this. Somewhere safer, away from those scary wolves. Remember that shelter that we visited on our trip downtown? You have a nice room, make friends, and you even get to go to school soon. It's, it's a better life than I can give you, that's for sure. What do you think, bud? Sound good? I only have an option, okay. Okay. I'm not sure whether I should believe him or not about this, but I guess he knows what's good for me. He's an adult after he's an adult after all, and adults always make the best decisions. Not true. No, not true. You should um question their decisions. They don't always make the best decisions. So Several months later. Dear Mr. Hunter, how are you doing? I'm in the shelter as always. I started going to school now. I've learned a lot of things and there's a lot of people here. But when I am alone, I keep thinking about our last conversation together. I know I keep asking you this, but even though you promised to write back ever since I got here, I haven't heard a word from you. No letters, no call. It's almost like you vanish or something. Anyways, I hope you get to write me a letter in return this time. Please be safe. I miss you. For real. Hunter is writing back. Or did something happen to Hunter? Maybe he's abandoned me after all. Bad end! What? How? <laughs> you suck. We should get the good end, right? Oh, okay, hold on. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna get, get a good end. The, the, the little boy deserves a good end. You you just keep watching, okay? You you guys should keep watching. I'm gonna go back and get a good end. Just just 
No. 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 Wait, what? Something this something's different. You can feel her heartbeat weaken. Your breathing started with her. She stared into your eyes with a sorry look on her face. All oh, this is you can make a sudden noise. Someone or someone else was coming after you and your mom. And after that was all blurred to you. But soon enough you were safe in the arms of Mr. Hunter. Her last or two wait, uh, do you remember? What? Do you remember? Can you even can you even remember? So up until this point, I've been uh, confronting those shadows. I hope that's the right thing to do. We'll see if the story changes. Uh, yep, he's still in the middle of the forest. Maybe that's her um, mom's grave or something. Oh, now we can have a choice. No. I'd rather live with you, uncle. No. Huh? You sure? That's right. Our, we already seen that option. You're not going to care about us. So we're going to bug you until the end. I I don't want to run away anymore. I'm so I'm so scared of the shadows. They say the really awful things to me every night. And that wolf almost took me away forever. But that made me realize I'm even more scared of losing you, Mr. Hunter. You've done so much for me, yet I... Uh-oh. Oh. Real. That's okay. If that's what you want, so be it. And for the record, kid, I see no burden here. You're as good as it gets. So in this, ver in this version, he's a good guy. I need to know how to live with these memories. I have to get stronger than those shadows. And he, even with my uncle's help, I think I can... And with my uncle's help, I think I can. I think I can overcome those fears. No matter how long it takes, I swear, I will find the light and be a nice guy. Good end. See, we we persevere. We always get a good end. We just have to um, confront those shadows, stick it out, and make your uncle take you as as um, his own kid. Since he doesn't have any girlfriends and stuff. Oh, yep, yeah, that's it. We got a good ending. So they all, everyone's happy together. And thank you guys very much for watching. And um, I don't think there's any special, right? And YouTube player for thank you very much for playing. Well, that's it. Okay, cool. Well, thank you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment. And yep, next time. Ah. <sighs> It feels good to get good endings.